Jane Lewis Deslauriers wrote, we always like to talk about the best movies ever. What are the five worst comic book movies of all time? Love the show. We are in such a golden age mm -hmm. right now of amazing, like when a half decent comic book movie comes out now, we call it absolute crap. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know what? If it was 1993 and that movie came out, we would be calling it groundbreaking right. for comic Kissing the floor. We are in such a great age right now, we tend to forget how truly bad comic book movies have been in the past. So, I mean, I think all of us are gonna have a completely different list. Here is mine. In no particular order, except for my number one worst, I'll go with the, over the other ones first. The first Ghost Rider film. Mm. Oh my God, that uh -huh. was so bad. Garbage. Obviously, Batman and Robin have to be on the list with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Is that number four? Freeze. No, no. The, all oh. these are no particular order okay. except for number one. Okay. I'll get to number one in a second. Uh, <sighs> Superman for the Quest for Peace, which we talked about on Heroes oh, yeah. the other day. Special movie. We were just talking about uh, Miller, uh, The Spirit. Yes. Oh, did, did if you had any doubt whether or not Miller had any real influence over the first Sin City, if he truly co-directed it with, right. with Robert Rodriguez, that question will be put to rest when you see Erased. his. Erased. Yeah. When you yeah. watch what he directed in the spirit, that's truly really awful. But to me, bar none, the worst comic book movie of all time, and I have in my top three of the overall worst motion pictures ever made, right. Catwoman. Mm-hmm. That movie yeah. was so <laughs> bad. So once again for me, Ghost Rider, Batman and Robin, Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, The Spirit, and my number one is Catwoman. Schnapp, wow. what about you? All right. You, I saw you jotting <laughs> yeah. down some notes Because I was like, oh, I want to make sure I get them right. <clears throat> and I did list them. So five, I cheated. I just threw three in because I couldn't decide which <laughs> one would be the fifth. So I'm going to give a t f five has a triple tiebreaker, Catwoman, The Spirit, and Steel. Oh yes, so those, Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, those three are garbage, <laughs> but they're they're just hovering above. You know, they're not they're, they're skimmable. You can still right. skim it. Halle Berry, she gets a little bit of a pass for doing such an outrageous, weird role as Catwoman. It's like nothing anybody wanted, but she was first beautiful actress in, it. in the world. First actress, by the way, to in one year <clears throat> win the Oscar for mm -hmm. Best Actress, and the following year to win the Razzie yeah. for Worst Actress. And she showed up, accepted and accepted it. it. Yep. That's, That's how cool Halle yeah. Berry Halle is. Halle Berry is super cool. That's why you know she has it's, uh, five, four League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Mm. How do you take? the most incredible graphic Bad. novel written by one of the modern comic book masters, Alan Moore, and completely ruin it. A movie so fucking bad that Sean Connery <laughs> quit. Sean Connery quit acting because of this movie. Sorry, I swore. Number three, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Everybody knows two. I hate that film. Yeah, oh, The Amazing oh, Spider-Man 2. Okay, no, 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 Amazing Spider-Man yeah, Amazing Spider-Man Spider 2. Not the Doc Ox. No, yeah. not Sam Raimi. I, no. Okay. This is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Let's just say Electro has a posse. Nobody cares about it. Uh, number two, Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. This was a, a oh, quest yeah. for a movie. This was oh, such so garbage. Bad. So embarrassing. But it's just, it, it really... It, it, it's so astonishing. I was alerting people, go on YouTube, search Superman for the quest for peace, bizarro deleted scene. Watch that. It is one of the weirdest deleted scenes you'll ever see. They actually made bizarro and there's like tinkly weird circus music. <laughs> yeah. It's so horrible that I insist you watch it. Number one for me, Batman and Robin. Yeah. The 1997 turd fest, horrible stink bomb. The film that I, you know, a lot of a lot of people we, I ranked on it yesterday on Collider Heroes. I couldn't stop talking about how horrible it was. But I said, you know, people who saw it when they were three or four get a pass because it, like sure. you're a little it kid, was bright and colorful. Yeah, you and, enjoyed it. Yeah. Most people wrote me back were like, Schnepp, I did like it when I was four or five. I grew up. I hate it now." So you know, some people still like it. I'm not saying you're you're wrong. I'm just saying most people say that that not only killed the franchise, but helped ruin a lot of other Dude, possible... Dude, it killed the genre yeah, killed the for genre. a number of years. Yeah, it, it killed the comic book genre completely. Everybody was like, look, Batman and Robin, look, don't do Superman Lives, don't do this movie, don't do that movie. We got lucky that a few, like, X-Men was already in production. Otherwise, you know, a lot of other bad things would have happened. Coach, what about you? I have to tell you, Batman and Robin is a fantastic comedy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the one Freeze. right up there next to Junior. Um, <laughs> I love how stupid Batman and Robin is. It's a terrible movie, but it's funny. 
It's a, it's a, it is a, it is a bad comedy. Intentionally, and without funny. that movie, you don't get Nolan's version because had it been even decent, then they would have made kept making chiming out more of those. That's sure. probably a good point. So yeah. I'm okay with that one, um, even though it stinks to high heaven. Um, so I'm going to take that one off my list. I'm also going to take uh, off Catwoman just because you spoke about it. It's horrendous in every. It, it's the definition. If you go to uh, a dictionary, you'll find Catwoman there. <laughs> but um, all right, so here's some uh, Captain America from 1990. Oh, yeah. I mean, that almost shut down Captain America from 2011. <laughs> Red Skull looks so amazing. It's with his rubber up. ears. It's Captain so America bad. Rubber it's like, ears. I remember everyone, when before the Chris Evans one came out, everyone was like, they can't make it work. Did you see what they did the first time? And it's like, you can't call that the first time. That's a toilet bowl flush. <laughs> um, Spawn. Spawn is yeah. terrible. Spawn yeah. to me was a movie that they could, the HBO series right. was fantastic. Great. I mean, one of the, the animated best. one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you have not seen the animated series of Spawn, go check it out. Dark. I mean, it was exactly what the comic was. And it's the, the guy who did the voice of Spawn. Wasn't it the same guy who does now the America's Navy commercial? What's that? What's that <laughs> actor's name again? I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Oh, 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 Keith David. Yes. Yeah. Keith yeah. David. Um, he pops up in like yeah. everything. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, Howard the Duck. Spawn. <laughs> it yes. is one. It's, yep. it's, it's bad. Um, the Phantom. Yeah. And oh my God. Smash but, Evil. Don't yes. smash Evil. Yeah. And Don't see a, that movie. But Spider Man 3. But Billy's to in, me. Man. Wow. That I, beats out the amazing Spider Man 2. Because, me too. It because me too, yeah. Toby Maguire is singing and dancing. For some reason, Spider Man is doing an emo flip on a on a piano and he does like a so you think you can dance moment on the and it's like, his hair it's like what are you doing, guy? And it's like oh, and then everyone's crying. Doesn't matter who. Hot dog vendor's there. He's crying. Mm. Everyone is crying in that movie. So it's it's stupid. And that movie almost killed. Is that number one for you? Yeah, I, I put that. In, it, it it made me upset because two was so good. Oh, right. and, two was right. so good. And because they jammed everything in, it was another studio interfered right. movie. It was, it was supposed what, to be Vulture. Yeah, and, Sandman, well, they, and, they, and they made Rami put all these other characters yeah. in. And the Sandman story was stupid. They ruined the Uncle Ben origin. It it was it's a fart fest. You know what? I would watch that Spider Man three dance sequence in a loop for three hours rather than see Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man 2 again. Not Bad. me. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.